This is IKEA's Future Lab. It's a space in downtown Copenhagen where researchers are creating a sustainable future by changing the way we live, work and eat. Space 10 was founded in 2015, and its aim is to imagine just what the future may look like. It works with specialists, experts and creatives from around the world to create projects that it hopes will make the world a better place to live. Its concepts include futuristic IKEA meatballs made from insects, lab-grown meat or food waste that may become the meatball of tomorrow. A virtual reality app that lets you place IKEA furniture in your home before buying it even an on-demand driverless cafe, shop or office that makes its way to you at the push of a button. Uh, IKEA is a company that um, many people around the world they, they know about, but like any other company, they are extremely keen on finding new and, and better ways and more sustainable ways of, of, of creating a better everyday life for people. And, and uh, what we basically do is that we are research and design lab and, and we try to understand where the world is moving and, and try to find ways of making it better, basically. I think for many people, research is seen as a little boring and facts and data and nobody really seems to get super excited about it. We try to uh, collaborate not just with data scientists and researchers and academics, but also with uh, designers and creatives to translate that into something that people actually give a damn about. Space 10 showed us the project it's currently working on, a model village that is completely self-sufficient when it comes to electricity. So all the solar panels will be connected to a computer underneath the houses, and you will be able to see uh, which houses are selling and which houses are buying uh, power. The beauty of this project is also that you could see that this little uh, village or community would actually be more uh, a thing where everybody chips in a little bit. The energy from the community, the money goes back into the community, so you have a more uh, democratized way of, of extra di uh, uh, di distributing and, and buying uh, energy. Space 10's experimentation continues in its test kitchen, where the foods of the future are dreamt up. We do uh, a lot of funny, weird, novel uh, explorations uh, within the field of food. Uh, and one big challenge is uh, that we throw tons of food away each year. And uh, it's often actually perfectly fine. And one thing I know for sure that uh, a lot of people are throwing away is, uh, is spent at coffee grounds. Um, and facts are that when you brew a cup of coffee, you actually only use 2% of the nutrients uh, that, are, that are in there. We've explored a little bit uh, growing mushrooms. There is uh, there's no mushrooms uh, yet, but uh, as you can see, the fungus is uh, it's kind of growing. Uh, these are for oyster mushrooms. And then you basically just mix it with the, with the spended coffee grounds. And then when it turns completely white, you add another layer of coffee grounds and then you just follow the process. When it hits the surface up here, you remove, uh, you remove these, the mushroom will start to flower. So also these shortbreads, the coffee grounds in. Simon showed us how he makes a dogless hot dog, a meat-free recipe that has just as much protein in it as a normal hot dog. The hot dog is one of the recipes in Space 10's new cookbook, and it uses the blue-green algae spirulina as a protein source. Spirulina is one of the fastest growing organisms in the world. It's easy to digest, full of iron, and contains around 60% protein. The hot dog itself is replaced by a dried and glazed carrot, along with a beetroot ketchup. It's served with hydroponically grown leaves and salt and vinegar sprinkled insects. Each element is designed to be sustainable, but also tasty. So what did it actually taste like? So I think this is probably the most sci-fi thing that I've ever eaten. It doesn't taste at all how it looks. It looks like it tastes very green, very healthy, but it's not, it's just a sort of 
as you said, like an explosion of flavours. Yeah. They don't taste of that much themselves, they're kind of slightly nutty. The salt and vinegar is really nice, a nice snack on the side. Space 10's ideas are experimental, and you may not be eating an algae hot dog next time you visit IKEA, but these projects might just be a look at the future to come. It's become very clear that there is no one future. There's many futures based on the many people and, and countries and cultures around the world, and, and I think that is, I think what we will see in, 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 the, in the coming years that we will probably move away from this consolidation of very few platforms or very few visions of how the world should be or how we should dress or what we should eat or what we should say um, and where we should do it towards, you could say, a more distributed future where uh, technologies, the science, uh, businesses, uh, societies and communities, they will understand that they actually have the power to do something in their own world, in their own society. And, and that will drive many different developments.